Hi, this is Debbie again from the Hydrocephal Association. Today we have a question from Darlene from North Carolina. Darlene had a question about sports. And uh, she said, if my five-month-old daughter is able to play sports, uh, can she and which one should she avoid? And then she had another question that we're going to discuss in a whole different blog. It's about school and preparing for school. So first we'll go with the sports. First thing I want to say, Darlene, is first line of defense, ask your neurosurgeon. Your neurosurgeon is the expert in what he or she feels your child should play, whether they should play, uh, what sports they can play, what they feel comfortable uh, allowing your child to play. You as the parent are the final decider on what your child's allowed to play. So, but it's a it's a uh, discussion you need to have firstly with your neurosurgeon because they are the expert in the brain field. And uh, then you discuss with your child and you come to a decision as to how much they want to play and what they can do. Now I can talk to you as a mom from what we did with our children. The uh, both of our daughters played um, soccer but they were not allowed to head the ball because that was a common sense issue to me. I didn't even ask the doctor that uh, because I didn't want them heading the ball when they had shunts in their head. Uh, but they were allowed to play soccer. Um, both girls did gymnastics, and the reason I wasn't worried about that was because shunts are a one-way valve. So when you're upside down, your fluid does not flow back into your brain, your cerebral spinal fluid. And um, But that is a question uh, you can also verify with your doctor, and I would recommend that. Uh, again, I'm just telling you what we did as a family. Um, my daughters did cheerleading. They, uh, Sarah played uh, softball. Um, she didn't wear any special helmets. They didn't wear any special helmets or anything with soccer because, first of all, you know, they didn't want to be different from their peers, and um, any kid can get hurt playing any sport. And I don't think a kid with hydrocephalus is going to get hurt more so than any other child. Now, there is a sport I'm not crazy about, and I, if I had a child with hydrocephalus that wanted to play um, hockey or um, uh, ice hockey or football, I probably wouldn't let him, but let me... Let me clarify that. I have a son who does not have hydrocephalus, and I wouldn't let him play football. Yet all, almost all my brothers played football, and I didn't want my son to. Luckily, um, he found baseball instead, which I was much more comfortable with. And he didn't have a shunt, so that's just my feelings on it. Ice hockey is another tough one, but at least they do wear helmets. But then again, in gym class, my daughters in high school played field hockey. And that's a little worrying to me, but... Uh, if you're worried uh, at all, check with your doctor on that. The stress here is, again, as always, to try to, you know, give your children as normal a life as possible. Don't, you know, make them stand out away from their peers. Use common sense. Um, always involve your doctor in your decisions. Think them through. Involve your child in the decision because it may be that your child does not want to do a particular sport and just was saying that to... Um, see what you'd say. I mean, it happens. Anyway, we all have kids that do that. They all do that. <laughs> um, so, you know, my kids also did dance. They really did just about pom-pom everything that most of their peers did. So we really didn't limit them, even though Sarah had half a head of hair because her head was shaved so many times for all her surgeries. She still, she didn't wear a hat to cover her bald, baldness. She didn't care. Their friends knew they had hydrocephalus. Um, it was no big deal. Their friends just said, oh, I know a kid who is hydrocephalus. My friend is hydrocephalus. So in our community, and it was a large community, uh, we didn't make it a big deal. And uh, our kids and their friends took it, took their cues from us. And it was just, hey, okay, so you have to wear glasses. So, um, so what? You have to wear glasses. So I have a shunt. So what? I have a shunt. So that's how we dealt with things. And um, But we knew enough to watch out for signs and symptoms that were important and prepare, but mainly try to live a normal life. And uh, uh, I think things will go well. So you just, you know, check with your doctor, make common sense decisions, talk to your child, and, and ultimately you will find the right decision for you. Thank you.